Oh, I got him. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh yes. Welcome back to the channel, fishing freaks, and all walks of outdoor life. Hey, today's video is sponsored by our friends at Carl's. I like to get the tugs from all the species, y'all, and today's video is showing that, but you can get everything at Carl's from bluegill to bass to any of your favorite species in freshwater. Shopcarls.com has the lowest prices, great customer service, and fast shipping. So they have a huge selection of not only our baits, but also rods, reels, line, terminal tackle, all of our new drops, uh, they've got it at, at shopcarls.com. So if you wanna get your hands on any of our new stuff that's dropped or some of our classics, things like we're gonna be using today, you can use code Guggen10 and get $10 off your first order and get early access to all of our new drops. If you wanna give Shop Carl's a little test dangle, you can start a free trial and start taking advantage of these big discounts across the board. So shopcarls.com, link down in the description, use code Guggen10 and you will get a discount on your first order over 25 bucks. Chicken update before we get on the lake, guys. <laughs> Colonel Sanders uh, and Mr. Penny, um, both crowing doing their deal uh, little naked neck here she is uh, I think she's getting ready to lay can't really explain it but I just got a feeling here you go guys Get you some of that enjoy and then inside of here my little uh, my little bushcraft tarp underneath it we have our chicks so I've got a, uh, a little portable net that I set up for them, um, a little pin that's just mesh, and they are just chilling out right now, look at them, just kind of hanging under the light right now because it's cold, they have been super active and they have enjoyed the heck out of being in the dirt, playing in the dirt, uh, I've got some, some grit set up for them, chick grit, if you didn't know this, if you're getting chickens, if you're gonna let them go outside and eat bugs and, and grass and leaves and stuff, when they're little, you gotta give them chick grit. So they don't eat grit if they're just eating the, like the formulated food that you get at the feed store. But if you're gonna let them free range a little bit, enjoy the, the finer things in chicken life, give them that grit so they can, they can process that stuff. They are just sleepy right now. Enjoying that heat. You guys going to sleepy sleep? You going to sleepy sleep? Getting big, getting rid of that fuzz, growing those feathers in, they're doing fantastic. Chick grit, by the way, I don't know if I explained this good enough, but it is a lot smaller than regular uh, chicken grit, so their little beaks can eat it and process it. The goal for today is to get after them daggum white bass that have been eluding me all season. I'm hoping they're out deeps, but if, if they want to stay up shallow and eat on shad for a few hours extra for me, I will gladly jack their jaws. I feel like I'm a part of a big joke right now because I am the only boat uh, on the water that I can see. On a weekend, during a cold front, where it's been 100 degrees, this water temp's probably up to 74, just like perfect top water conditions. Either everyone got to the lake this morning and then left, um, top water bites over and I'm just the only idiot out here, or um, something's going on. I know what it could be, I know what it could be. So I filled up my boat the other day and uh, if anyone wants to take a guess at how much that costs, just leave, just drop it in the comments. Pretty up there. Oh man, such such an odd feeling. There's like warmer water. The water temp is warmer than the air. So the air blowing at my back right now, the north, is like my around my feet. It's a little warmer. Around my head, it's cooler. It's very strange. I usually go to Canada every year about this time. And it feels just like this, it looks just like this. Cloudy, gloomy. 
and it is top water. Unbelievable. It's a little too windy for the popper, man. got one. Oh, goodness, what do we got here? Threw on the old crankbait and got ding dong. Ooh, large mouth. You sure did want it. You sure did want it. Put your big boy pants on today, didn't you? When we came to work, put your big boy pants on. Yeah, buddy. You know, through that little mini banger. Mini banger. I was actually trying to catch a crappie. Ended up with a largemouth. Not going to complain. Tug is the drug. Yeah, I just, uh, just flicked the old, I was seeing a lot of crappie kind of up there in the shallow. I think they're crappie. Now I'm starting to think, man, is this a big bluegill migration here? What's going on? Wow, guys, this is just pretty amazing weather conditions. I, I just, I'm, I'm feeling so good. I'm just going to pick up a crankbait. Going off that, that bass that bit me, I'm just going to pick up a few crankbaits. Just go down the stretches here this is about that time of year where you can just start grinding around on the points and really do well okay there that goes the old knot failure where is that kind of thing Okay, saw shad. Right here. Oof. Those are rocks. Don't want those. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Look at those skills. Big crank catching little crank. Isn't that cute? I just found a lay down long with like, I don't know, 50, 60 bluegill on it. Got a bunch of bites on my crappie jig. But I'm trying, airplanes, I'm trying to input this on my hummingbird as like lay down log 14, whatever. And the scrolling process is, is ridiculous. I mean, are we in like 2001 right now? Really miss my Garmin because of that fact. It was just so much more intuitive. Um, I, I bet a lot of people that have hummingbirds end up naming waypoints just ridiculous, like short little names where they start start to name something like BR. They just, <laughs> they're gonna name it like brush pile. They just name it BR. Uh, you know, 125, whatever. It's just, it's just silly. Like, why in this day and age can we not figure this out? I do like the fact that they have walleye, pike, and perch inputted as icons. There, there's a stump icon. So we do have that, but we're just scrolling, you know what I mean? I feel like Garmin is an iPhone and Hummingbird is a Blackberry. It's pretty much what it is. No idea what I'm doing out here fishing, fishing wise. So I'm just, just out. I am just going fishing. Woo. Okay, found something. I found something. This could be, this could be the white bass we seek. Oh. oh, did I just see a little somebody try to come grab that thing? Mm -hmm. See a little to the right. What do we have here? What do we have here? What 
do we have? Oh my, oh my, these could be crops. Oh gosh, there we go. These are crops, I'm going to... Nope, they're the whiteies. I just wanna crush you. Oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? Where have you been? Mmm. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, sit here for a sec, snag a few of these guys. You know what? I think some of these are crappie because there seems to be some sort of a pile here. Planted structure. Oh gosh. Oh, whapped me. That's the crappie. Woo -hoo -hoo. Did you see that? Little switcheroo on him. Wham bam. Thank you, Sam. Do I want to keep them? I don't know. But you can catch crappie on spoons, folks. If I was lost on a lonely island, I could only take one lure. It would be a spoon. Oh yeah, we just found the crappie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're jacking their jowls right now. Oh, what? look at this. Look at this guy. This guy is a, uh, could this guy be a hybrid? Yeah, maybe not. No. Kind of long. Interesting. Like all the species just gathering the depths, just send it down and you get jerked. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come on, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, white bass. Need some of that pull action. Oh no, it's a big crappie. Oh my goodness, look at this whopper madoodle here. Holy moly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Fat as a pumpkin. That is a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, well, that one just needs to go home with me. Ah. Oh yeah, they're chasing it. Oh, they want it so bad. Oh yeah, they're starting to like that hop action. Summertime hoppers, baby. Look at these crappies, oh my gosh. They are fatties. Oh, you uh, you got gilled. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take you home. Beautiful crappie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. That's crazy that the, uh, I think the spoon honestly might have fired up the biggest ones in there. Cause I'm not seeing very many big ones. But let's just, let's send the old uh, bladed jig head down there. Mostly bluegill. I'm getting smacked by bluegill right now. That's interesting. Look at the attack here on the spoon. They just, they don't know what to do with themselves. Doink. Is there any big enough? Oh, goodness. Attack mode. Look at you. You would be delicious catfish bait. Big difference. Oh, you bad bud. Yeah, you're darn dude. Oh. Oh, I 
I got him. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh yes. Oh, it finally happened. Thank you. Oh, he hit it so hard. Oh yeah. He gobbled my crank. I wanted that so bad. Just a double in the face. Got you going. And it's one of them deals where you just put your deal, put your pliers in there because you don't want anyone looking at you slinging the fish in. Why is it I hear like big motors running whenever I have a big fish on coming at me? You know what I mean? You got to do the awareness check. All right, he's gone. We can land this fish. Seat mode. Seat mode. Oh, back grab. You guys can't see it. Smash. Smash the like button for it. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's all up in the grill. It's all up in there. All right, folks, let's release this beautiful girl. Thank you for that awesome crankbait explosive bite. Mmm, I wanted that so bad. That was that bite I was seeking today when I put that crankbait on and it was just cold and the hoodie on. I was like, I just want to do some crank. I want to get this mm, on crankbait. Felt good. Let's get another one. I just, he oh my God, that fish broke me off. I just smoked another one and it broke, it, the line just cut clean. Dang. I should have checked my line. I was in those rocks and son of a shopcarls.com to do a double San Diego jam. I'm telling y'all, I just threw out there and got knocked twice. Twice in a row. Oh, yeah, I can see. Ah, dang it. right there too okay well looks like I just discovered something I didn't know about this lake it has the zebes clean cut zebed me man zebra mussels to be exact come on Smoke one, there he is. Oh yeah, right on top of the deal. And I was just throwing a banger. Oh, I smoked a caddy cat. Oh, that's when you know you got skills, folks. You come out here and basically catch every species. I'm kidding. It's just that time of year. My favorite month to fish. Sucker will eat good, won't it? I like me and taste the catfish, okay? Not opposed to it whatsoever. Let's throw the old slim on. That ought to do it. Oh my god, you're tiny. Oh, I just put the absolute screws to you. Oh my gosh, I was thinking it was going to be a nine pounder. 
I don't know why, on one of those lakes, but it's the way it picked it up. And I had to cut the camera on, so I was just like letting him swim with it, and then I had slack, and I was like, put the hammer down, baby. Put the hammer down. Oh, man. I feel pretty satisfied, to be honest with you guys. Back at the tree house. Peekaboo! Peekaboo. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> Is it overdone? Overplayed? <laughs> This is what we fared up with right here. We've got that catfish and a couple of fat, shad eating crappie babies. Fun little note. You, you know those dirt daubers, things that look like wasps, but they're not really wasps? Um, I had one building this thing on my, my boat cover. Popped it, guess what came out? Spiders. Three spiders inside of there. Uh, dirt daubers eat spiders. So before you go swatting them away, Remember, those bad boys are taking care of the household. They're natural spider getters. A pretty fun day on the water. Uh, I'm still searching for that top water bite, though. Where the heck is it? Uh, you know, had bass bites, had crappie bites, had a little bit of the white bass action, but it's not super heated up yet. And I discovered just hordes of bluegill that I really want to take Amy out uh, and get her on the lake, you know. Um, you know, she I let her net the catfish out of the live well. She thinks she's a, a superb catfisher lady right now because she's caught catfish in the lake. You know, she scooped her catfish, put it in the cooler. You know, she, she feel, the confidence level is really high. Colonel Sanders going off right now. He sees me talking to the camera. He's trying to show off. But I wanted to get her on the white bass here soon, but they're just not, uh, they're not going like I would hope they would. But thanks for hanging with me today. Don't forget to check out Shop Carl's if you want to pick up some of the uh, crankbaits, other hard baits, anything, really, anything that you need. Uh, you can pick it up there, super low price. You always get um, the latest Guggen drops as well. So uh, go visit the link, it's down in the description. Um, use the codes, save the monies. Go forth, fish like a champion, Godspeed, and God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.